Welcome to the Brain Scoop's new office. Isn't it cool? I'm sitting here in Stanley Field Hall in the Field Museum of Natural History. Uh, it is one of the largest natural history museums in the United States. It has 24 million artifacts, 157,000 examples of fungi, mammals from 190 different countries, 21,000 clutches of bird eggs, 1 million specimens of rove beetles representing 7,000 different species, and 30,000 different fish fossils. Right now I'm going to take you guys on a tour of some of the public exhibits that you can see if you come visit the Field Museum. Let's go! I'm sitting here in the Hall of Mammals, surrounded by dozens of full mount taxidermy dioramas of every mammal species you can imagine from every corner of the globe possible. The Field Museum has a large collection of invertebrates, more than 2.4 million specimens, and a large portion of those are insects. Part of the Brain Scoop's relocation means that we're going to be branching out and talking about all different aspects of natural history, including things like anthropology. We're going to be talking about Africa, ancient Americas, ancient Egypt, Asia, botany, plants of the world. All of the plants in this hall are made by hand. They're made out of wax. We've got dinosaurs, early hominids, ice age mammals, meteorites, the Granger Hall of Gems, the Elizabeth Hubert Mallet Hall of Jades, award-winning bathrooms. This is the DNA lab where they analyze the genetic data from thousands of different species. This is Richard La Riviere. He's the president. Hello. And that's just a tiny fraction of the things that belong to the Field Museum's immense collection. At any one time, they only have less than 1% of all of their artifacts on public display. And I am so thrilled to be able to go behind the scenes and share some of these artifacts with you guys in the coming days, weeks, months, years. This has been an episode of The Brain Scoop. Thanks for watching. It still has brains on it.